All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship. Um, I guess day 61. Um, I'm actually on day 63 now because um, Frederick Pinion and Magali Delgado have just been um, for their amazing clinic. Um, it was so inspirational and I think reassuring, which was so nice. It was so nice to see them work and to just feel empowered to keep going with what I'm doing. Um, and it was really nice to have some conversations where I could really be proud of the journey that I'm on right now. Um, and this 365 days of horsemanship project. So I was just really, yeah, I've been really super blessed, but also super busy. Um, so I'm going to try and catch up. I think maybe, maybe it is better that I just do all three of them in this one video. <laughs> And then I go back to my daily vlogs from tomorrow because it is challenging to remember if I don't do them on the day. And I have like an idea of how the progression has been over the last three days. Um, on Friday, everybody was arriving for the clinic. That was day 61. And um, I definitely... Oh, hey, buddy. Rayo has come to say hey. Um, <laughs> cutie pie. Um yeah and i definitely knew that i wanted to bring mia um and see how she would cope with all the new horses because before she's definitely been very stressed um i brought her up for elsa's initially that first evening and i had to do a lot of work with her in the arena on just being calm <laughs> i know you'd like to play but i am currently playing with something that's important to me um yeah, I I had brought her up for Elsa's and it was just really a lot of emotion. So I wanted to bring her up again for Fred and Mags's and just see how she did. And actually, I was so impressed. I was so, so impressed. She was so, um, yeah, just calm. Um, we went and we took a walk around the playground. We couldn't go in the arena because it had been already harrowed. Um, and I sort of wonder if in some ways that was a good thing because maybe the arena would have made her feel anxious um, in a way that just being, you know, on the grass kind of didn't. And we got to a nice place where we could walk together. Um, we walked up around some other horses. She definitely was, you know, a little bit tight. And, you know, if one of them came towards her, she wanted to like, you know, really walk away. But it was nothing compared to how it was at Elsa's and so i'm just super happy with that uh progress and you know i got to stand and graze there with her while some horses were arriving and yeah she did really great um so i was really happy with that that and you know it was just 10 15 minutes but i, I felt like it was really a positive change um i went to see lawrence um his painkillers are just super solid now which is amazing um so yeah literally came in gave him his oil straight away and um yeah i think the last three days have been pretty much the same with lawrence to be honest um we've just been working a really a lot on the neck and the hips um in terms of massage because he's just so tight um he's just so super tight through those hips um and he's just got this big old soft tissue situation hi hey, buddy um, he's got this big old soft tissue situation in his um, neck and he, yeah, he really has started to allow me to help him with that, um, which is super cool. Yeah, this is nicer energy. You can come hang out if you're going to be like that. Um, yeah, so that was really nice. Um, just had a really easy chilled session with him. Obviously, I took him a few days ago on the polls. I think I will try that again, maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. Today is uh, Sunday. So maybe tomorrow or the day afterwards, um, <laughs> I will try um, the, oh my gosh, I need to turn the other way. That sunshine is crazy. Um, yeah, I will try the polls again. But the last few days has just literally been massage. And I definitely feel like the massage is getting better. 
Um, I definitely feel like he's more engaged. Um, I feel like he's allowing me to do more and dig in more. And I do feel like it's helping actually. Like I'm looking at his body and I'm thinking, you know, actually you really don't look that far off how you looked when I was working you before. And it's so interesting because I've always felt for years with him, like it didn't really matter what I did, nothing worked. And I am kind of wondering if, you know, like if you, like if you go to the gym when you're sore, and if you're sore like from an injury rather than, you know, overall sore from exercise, it, like you wouldn't, like you don't get anything done, you know, because you would be, you know, compensating and, you know, holding. Oh, thank you, Rayo. You'd be compensating and um, like holding yourself funny and not really engaging any of those muscles. And I do wonder if that's kind of what's been happening for him like his whole life. Um, so, yeah, so I'm kind of hopeful that if I'm just really consistent with this massage um, and I start to set it up so that he can do some of these exercises as much as he feels that he can um, then maybe we will see some progress um, you are so hilarious dude um, yeah so <laughs> so he yeah so he's doing super well to be fair um, and I'm really happy with that um, yesterday I came, uh, after the clinic again, um, I went up to, I went to Lawrence first actually, and yep, same again, you know, the massaging, and, like, I definitely feel with Lawrence with the massaging, like, he, he really, it's like he does it, he, he's, I think he's quite, like, interactive with it now where he where he knows that it's he knows that it's helping he seems to like he doesn't enjoy it I don't think I think it's still painful for him but I think he I can feel this sense that he knows that it's that it's good you know that it's helping or that he's feeling better so I think yeah she's gonna keep going <laughs> um she's gonna keep just chugging I've got a little setup now I think until something changes it stops working I'm just gonna keep going so I came up yesterday for Mia um, after I did Lawrence and I expected, like Fred talked a lot this weekend about um, happiness and about creating this environment, this energy around your horse that's really positive and like positive reinforcement and that what they're doing, if they're doing it with you is like creating this positive energy. And I just feel like that's such a great mindset to have. And it really helps me to like rectify and soothe this like difficulty I have in doing the freedom based training stuff and then also playing with dominance. Like I find it really difficult to feel like it's OK to go from one to the other. And I find it really hard to make the transition without it feeling weird or difficult or hi again, um, weird or difficult or just like too different worlds completely and um as you can see Rayo is a very inquisitive boy <laughs> um and that's my hair buddy and I, I kind of I kind of like it thank you um yeah and and I think like thinking about the way that Fred like treats his horses the way that he plays with the horses is very I can see what's in it for them intrinsically, which I think is important for me because unless I feel like there's something in it for the horse, I don't really want to do it. So, and having this idea that Fred has where he, like, the horse does something that he likes and he ch -ch 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 rewards the horse with good energy. Um, so... So yeah, and that's something that really resonates with me and that's that's a method of communication that I feel is possible for me that feels right in terms of, you know, if I'm asking for the completion of a task or something like that. Um, yeah, so so that was really nice. And, and, and I thought to myself, you know, I asked him like, well, what do you do? Because he was playing with this really interesting horse that is quite dominant, quite a dominant mare who had a lot of no and still does have some no and a lot of opinions about things. And um, 
And I asked him, well, what do you do with a horse who has know about everything? Like everything's just no. Like even the concept of asking the question is like, no. Um, and like, what do you do with that? You know, where do you go with that? Um, and, and so, and he said, you know, you need to make your presence positive for the horse you need to be a good person for that horse to be around you need to, for them to think that things are good or better when you're there and I thought okay perfect like that's this is what I'm doing this is what we're doing right now you know Mia and I were just hanging out and I'm trying to prove to her that I'm a good person to have around um which hopefully you know she does feel that way so excuse me while I just um, move Rayo out of my space. Um, yeah, so, so I came up yesterday with the intention of just being in flow. I knew she was eating at the hay and I thought this was a good time for us to do our nice little hay flow situation. Um, and actually I learned some really interesting stuff. She basically was, um, she was eating, but she wasn't happy. Um, there were two other horses on the hay with her that she doesn't really like that much. Um, and she just was very stressed. Like there was focus changes, but the focus change was like in anger. Like it was always fight. Um, like it's like I'm eating or I'm being annoyed um, with one of them. And I found that if I moved, her stress level went down, um, which, you know, is basically supportive leadership, right? Um, and so I just did a whole bunch of supportive leadership and every time she felt better, I went into flow and yeah, and that worked out really nicely. And I felt like I was proactively useful for one of the first times with her in the herd. Um, so I was really pleased with that, with that session. And I came up again today um, with kind of a similar idea about being in flow. And I found her to be quite shut down on the grass today. Um, so I did a similar kind of technique where I was just trying to support going around and I could see that there was some like enjoyment I could see she was going from like total freeze out playing with you know eating the grass to like slightly you know like acknowledging me with a blink of the eye or whatever um and and that was great but I I did I did want that moment of acknowledgement of my presence um so I started working with the yields um, and that it became more dominant because I basically was like, like rocking her on every yield point until she moved and then moving on to the next one, moving on to the next one, moving on to the next one, basically doing that until I could get a, until I could get her to look at me and be like, what? And then I was like, oh, that's it. Perfect. Thank you. And that did take a while. Um, and I think the mistake that I made was then I stepped away because I assumed she then wouldn't want me in her space. And then I got a little tail swish, which I think was like annoyance, but I think it was annoyance that I'd moved away. I think I forget with her is that she does want me close. She just doesn't want me doing anything. <laughs> so yeah, tomorrow I'm looking forward to bringing her up and, um, and doing her plats and hopefully playing. Um, we'll see how the time goes tomorrow. Maybe I'll do half her plats and play or something. Um, yeah, we'll just see. So, so yeah. But it's been an amazing weekend. It's been so amazing to have um, Fred and Magali here. They're both just so inspiring. Like, Magali's patience is just so inspiring to me. Like, she just sets it up easily, nicely, calmly, and just waits for the horse to be okay. Um... And that to me is just, yeah, so perfect. And it really where I need to be. And, and Fred just has this energy where he's just so, even when the horse, even when he's telling the horse, explaining to the horse that what they're doing is not what he wants them to do. It's so polite and so loving. And you, you have this real feeling that he's still just so happy to be in the horse's presence. And I think the horses really feel that. And it's really magical to watch. Um, yes, it is very magical to watch. I know, you're like a big bear. Yes, you are, you big baby. Um, so, yeah, it's been a really super weekend. Um, yeah, 63 days of horsemanship now. Um, ready tomorrow. Hello, buddy. <laughs> ready tomorrow for day 64. Um, and we'll see what it brings. <laughs>